Why mm-hmm. did he lose to Liam Smith? Why do you think he lost to Liam when Smith? When someone staggers like that, it, it means they've been uh, looking at uh, bling. They've been looking at money. They've been looking at like, yeah. girls. They've they've been they've not they've, preparing. Yeah, they mm-hmm. think it's easy. Yeah, and when you think it's easy, even a fighter of his caliber can beat can beat you and look good doing it. He's a, now, he's a world-class operator, Liam Smith, as well, though, isn't he? That's, that, sorry, I come from a world of bigotry and racism, okay? okay. In the 1990s, it wasn't... In the 1990s, they wouldn't have allowed me to fight a man like Liam Smith. Why is that, then? You, you fought lots of fights. You fought, I, I wouldn't watch you fight Dan Sherry. And what, what's the point? The point is the calibre of... Uh, the calibre of the fighters he's fighting... Yeah. Or the calibre... When, when fighters have been trained by who I call physical education teachers, <laughs> they're not learning how to fight. What, Roy Jones Jr.? Roy Jones Jr., okay. Roy Jones Jr., this is a credit I give him. I give him, okay? He taught my son patience, but my son, it seems to me, hasn't used it. Mm. He's supposed to combine, combine the patience with that, that speed and that crack in your punches and can he that... beat him now can can chris because i don't think you can can chris come back your son and avenge the defeat i was at the fight and i watched it mm-hmm. and i picked liam smith to beat him mm-hmm. and i pick him to beat him again mm-hmm. you're his dad you know him he's now got serious or might be getting serious because he pat- sorry people yeah where are you betting slip i hate them ones i, I didn't hear this guy say nothing i ain't gonna lie to you yeah where are you betting slip i picked him to beat him Time and Jordan, you're on a million bucks a year. Show me where you put your money up, 100%. And it, was, it was like three to one odds. Yeah? Oh, I picked him to beat him. I picked him. He, he ain't picked to do none. It's what you picked him to do. Yeah? What would they call it? Not Johnny come lately. Um, Sunday morning, Monday morning quarterbacking looking ass. How about that? If he didn't prepare this fight properly, he's got the same people around him that you think are no good for him. Can he win this fight? David Hay called me the other day and said... <laughs> He doesn't spar. He does everything that he wants to do. He's got yes men around him. And so it seems to me, by what David Hay said to me, that he's still not listening. And so right. and so I don't know because I don't watch anymore because I have a... Do you know you know what it is to give 10 years of your life? to, to uh, the cost- What's going on, people? Shaman the YB back once again. So I want to cover this because in the last episode of this Eubank Senior airing out junior, he talked about well, he agreed with Simon Jordan that his son is a charlatan. Um, I, and i got to say this as well, man. I wish Eddie Hearn would put it back on Simon. I, I, like Some people have come out and said, oh, it's, a, it's wrong to get Eubank Senior on there and talk about his son. End of the day, man. Eubank Senior is a grown man. Everyone has their own agency. So if Eubank Senior want to say how he feel, he want to say how he feel. What I don't like... Is the fact Simon Jordan? He come me mugging. He come, he come with his me mugging face, like he gonna do some. But when Eddie Hearn put it on him and said, "Listen, we don't have to be doing all this on talk sport. Yeah, we can get in the ring for charity, and I punch you up." Simon Jordan, all of a sudden, yeah, all this energy he have, you know, all that energy, all that screw facing he have. Oh, I don't want to fight Eddie. I don't want to fight about it, mate. Oh, I just want to talk on the internet some more. And oh. Don't want, Eddie, don't want to fight, mate. This guy is corny. Yeah, I don't know why no one checked him. If anyone who go in, I need to say to Simon, Simon, unscrew your face. Yeah, because when Eddie put it on you, and Eddie's not some big fighter who's been doing it. I get that. I've said it before. Obviously, if Dillian White called out Simon Jordan, I wouldn't expect him, or I'd expect him to flap it. But Eddie Hearn, you should be saying, you know what? Yeah, and bear in mind, Simon's been giving it to Eddie as well. What? Like, sorry. Simon's been giving it to Eddie like he wants some. Yeah? He's been giving it to Eddie like he can do some. He corny. No, he's not even corny. Corny's not fair. He's a, he's a classic kind of... He's a classic teacher's pet almost. Yeah? Licking the teacher's pet or licking the teacher's balloon knot. And then... when when You know what I mean? When someone pulls up on the teacher's pet, they, they, they go quiet. Or when it, you know what I mean? Uh, we've always you must have seen them ones. Teachers pet yeah has a bunch of energy when the teacher's there. The teacher leaves the room and they just shrivel up. Yeah, and this is Simon. When you press him, we can all talk big on the internet. And I'm oh, I bet you're the worst for this. Listen, who wants some? Yeah, obviously Dillian punched me up. AJ punched me up. They're two hundred and sixty pound men, but who else wants some? Yeah, which one? Oops, you know what I'm saying? There ain't no ones out there. 
he's gonna get punched up, hundred <laughs> percent. If there was a corny dude like Simon Jordan, I'd punch him up. Simple as that. What can I say? <laughs> yeah, it's one of them ones. But anyway, back to the point. I've, I've digressed here, man. Senior, he said his son has been out hoeing in Miami. Who can who can really blame the guy? To be fair, like if I was if I was on like Chris Eubank Jr., you best be you best believe I'll be in Miami too. You know them ones there, yeah. I'll be in Miami doing a madness, coming back for some London girls as well. Whilst we're at it, you know, just what they call it. Is it a city boy? I don't know. Is it city boy? Is it one of them ones? I think the women call it. Um, I don't know what the women call it, but it's kind of like a worldy one of them worldy ones. Yeah, you best believe it as well. But equally, Eubank Senior is right. Eubank Senior goes on to say that. <laughs> Junior wouldn't have made the money he made without my name, which is fair. And that's why you have to respect your position. Eubank Junior is where he is because of his dad. It's not nothing to do with him. And on that basis, you have to consider that. Yeah, if you're going to be out hoeing in Miami, nothing wrong with that. Yeah, like I said, I'll be doing that too. The difference is, sit down somewhere. Don't be doing both. Because you, you bring the name that put you on. Yeah. The very name that enables you to fly out to Miami and be effing with the baddest ones out there. You understand that? You're bringing that into disrepute in itself. And that's why, if you look throughout financial legacies, they say things like, um, or if you look out for, if you look throughout history, all the big billionaires or whatever, within, I think, two or three generations, they, they all fall off. Do you know what I mean? They, they, end, up lo- they end up blowing it all. Because the, the ones who, the patriarchs as such, or the matriarchs, or mainly patriarchs, I think I'm going to lie to oops. <laughs> the, the patriarchs who made the fortune through or, uh, through alleged hard work, I don't know, I can't, but let's assume they worked hard for their money, yeah? The, the ones who made the fortune through sacrifice and hard work, allegedly, they appreciate what it, Eubank Senior appreciates what it is to have gone through what he gone through. These new age guys, though, who just get put on, they ain't really appreciate the grind like that. And hence, it all falls off within a few generations. You get that division between who put the work in and who reap the rewards. And when you're just reaping rewards for a reaping reward's sake, you end up in Miami with the baddest females. Yeah, getting your end off. And when you're getting your end off, your, your knees are weak. You best believe it. Especially when you're doing it to, to, the, to the highest level as well. They sent one of them dead ones. He sent one of them, oh, I've been in the UK for 20 years and I'm still married. That's not one of them ones. We're talking about new ones every day, yeah? New ones, like, the females you bank be messing with, yeah? They trying to come up. Do you understand? So that's, it's a different type of situation, yeah? Most most individuals, you have to kind of ask your missus, oh, can we, can we do something tonight? Oh, I'm tired, yeah? You bank ain't dealing with them ones. You bank dealing with, I'm trying to be wifey once. Yeah, they're jumping in, their legs are in the air, they're jumping off the ceiling, doing a ma- <laughs> they're doing a madness, why? Because they're trying to be the one, yeah? That there is leg draining. Like I said, they said, no, oh, uh, roll over on your side, baby, and let me just hit it for a few, <laughs> for a few strokes on you. You know what I mean? It's not one of them ones. Chicks are going in there looking at like acrobats for Chris Eubank Jr., 100%. <laughs> so, you best believe when you be doing all these mad angles, your your leg is gonna get tired. Your your, your, um, your hip flex is gonna get tired. Your glutes gonna get tired. And before you know it, you're in there with Liam Williams or Liam Smith, and you get clipped. And I got I have to be honest, the way you bank got up, I didn't put two. I ain't gonna lie to you. I, I could sit here and tell you that oh, I knew this. I saw this coming. I didn't see it coming. Obviously not. I lost money on it. But um, the fact you bank said senior, sorry, said yeah, he be in, he be in Miami hoeing. It makes sense now. He, Eubank Senior ain't lying because I made a joke out of Junior when he got chinned. I said, oh, Chris Eubank be Junior. Watch how Eubank got up after he got clipped, yeah? He jumped up so fast. Well, I thought at the time, I said, oh, he got up too quick. He didn't get up too quick. What happened was he jumped up and all them glutes, basically he left his glutes and his hip flexors in Miami with the baddies, yeah? All of Chris Eubank's best hip flexors and stabilization muscles in his legs were left in Miami. He'd been spent them. Yeah. He he been spent them. Yeah. All that energy, all that what do they call it? All that energy stored, all that all that um glycogen or whatever else. It burnt out. That's been burnt out. 
Yeah? There's only, there's only so many black. There's only so many females. There's only so many of the finest, of Miami's finest. That you can blow their backs out for them. And then come back. What are you going to do? You're just going to fly back to the UK and be bang on it again. Oops. No legs. That's what it was. Big fat. It makes sense now. I can work out for, wait a minute. This guy has had legs. And had a chin his whole career. No legs. No chin. Spent. That's what it was. Eubank Jr. looks spent and it will do that to you. The cooch, the A1 cooch will do that to you. It will suck the life out of you. 100% one way or another. Especially consecutively speaking. Yeah. If you're in there just out here caning in Miami. It, you know what I mean? It's one of them. Especially as you get older as well. Listen, Eubank ain't 20 no more. Eubank 35. Yeah. You're supposed to be slowing down, you back out here on a mad one, tearing the streets up, tearing the streets of Miami, tearing Rodeo Drive up, yeah? So, listen, what can I say, man? Um, again, some people have said, oh, they, they shouldn't have brought Senior on here and whatever else. I think this was good, yeah? You bank Senior also said that... Um, they're all PE teachers, his trainers. And, oh yeah, you band don't want to spar. <laughs> you band don't want to do no sparring. Again, it's the prima donna situation. I mean, then again, it could be the case that... Why doesn't Chris Eubank Jr. want to do any sparring? I'll tell you why he don't. Yeah, he don't want to do no sparring. Because he knows his legs were left in Miami. Yeah, you see that one. But, <laughs> but on a serious note... It's possible Eubank Jr. don't want to do no sparring because he know his chin shot. Why wouldn't you want to do sparring? I've heard about mad spars that Eubank Jr. has been having throughout the years. That's not a good sign. For someone who... Oh, I, I think Eubank used to love to spar. I saw him sparring Carl Foch and whatever else. So why would a man now not want to spar? Chin's gone. Potentially. Yeah, don't forget that Eubank was flying out to Miami and whatever else. And we know, if you, if you up until the last few months, if you want to get out to the US, you have to take the shot. Yeah, and that shot has burnt away. That mRNA yeah, has burnt away all of his nerve endings. Chip. Clipped. No chin. Yeah, that's what you do. Oops. Big oopsie doopsie. So anyway, let me know your thoughts, people. Smash the like button, subscribe. And let off the 100%. Know that. Thank <laughs> you.